Let's start with a quick review of what actually happened on that August 23rd, 10 years ago. Yeah, well, we had a magnitude 5.8 earthquake in the Central Virginia Seismic Zone, and the Central Virginia Seismic Zone has been a locus of ongoing activity, um, earthquake activity for many, many years, a couple hundred years. Um, So it's a well-known seismic zone. It has uh, a fair number of moderate-sized earthquakes, magnitude 2, 3, 4. So this is the largest one we've had in quite a while. It caused a fair amount of damage. Uh, It destroyed a couple of schools in the uh, epicentral area and damaged a lot of other buildings. And it caused some damage in the D.C. area as well. Yes, I remember coming home from vacation and we found that pictures had fallen off the wall and a couple of things had fallen off shelves in the uh, family room. Well, if that's all that happens to you, you should feel very lucky. (laughs) I guess the damage was widespread. I mean, the National Cathedral still has scaffolding up and that's just 10 years afterwards well the cathedral's got a big problem there because it's so expensive to repair all those things and they don't have huge amounts of funds so yeah the, the repairs are taking a while the uh Washington Monument, of course, took a number of years, and then the elevator didn't work, so they had to go back and fix that. So, yeah, it takes a while to repair some of these things. And if you want to hear the entire interview, it's posted at federalnewsnetwork.com slash federal drive, and we hope you do.